morning, everyone. Welcome to CWMC Land Wednesday meeting. As you can see, I changed some background, but uh, it's a little bit um, look uh, looks heavier. Okay. Uh, but something with the seal and the logos. Okay. Again, good morning. And today's mini seminar topic is CIS form and dual agency representation. And so the title is uh, Sound Public Relationship. Often uh, there will be, often there, there are some uh, kind of uh, conflicts or some uh, emotional disturbances between agent and client or a customer. So we want to take a look at what kind of uh, proper procedure uh, we have to um, meet uh, the client at the first time. And certainly real estate commission requires a certain procedure when we, when uh, uh, as a real estate profession uh, meets uh, the client, which is public. By the way, the major purpose to, to issue real estate license from commission, REC, real estate commission is to protect public. So the licensing purpose is to protect the public. So public also should know what real estate agent is supposed to do, okay? And uh, that way, uh, we have a sound public relationship, okay? Um, as I said, NJ state real estate law requires real estate agents to provide CIS form, which is consumer information statement, form to public when they engage with the potential clients before they begin to discuss business matter. So it is important that uh, both real estate professions and uh, professionals and the general public must know what has to be done. Okay, so what is the CIS form then? CIS form is, again, consumer information statement form explains four roles of real estate agent, okay? First, the buyer agent, second, seller agent, third, disclosed the dual agent, and four is transaction broker. So let's take a look at what are those briefly. And also let's take a look at um, how, uh, what uh, does the CIS form look like? Okay, this is the form. It says consumer information statement on New Jersey real estate relationships. As I said, subtitle of today's seminar is a sound public relationship. So in order to start the sound of the relationship with the public, okay, between professionals and the general public, we need to uh, start with this form. It's a very important start to begin our relationship. Okay, uh, this form says the seller agent uh, or sub-agent or as a licensee represents the seller and all material information supplied to me by the buyer will be told to the seller. So <clears throat> I think the big point is the real estate, sometimes the real estate professions, they don't provide information from the buyer uh, to seller or the other way around. So of course, the real estate professions requires to be honest all the time to everyone, including client, customers, and general public. There's no doubt about it. And uh, number three, disclose the dual agent as a licensee, represent both parties. However, uh, they can represent both parties. However, I may not disclose that a seller will accept a price less than the listing price or 
uh, the buyer will pay a price greater than the offered price. In other words, especially as a dual uh, disclosure dual agent, dual agent means represent the buyer and seller. Uh, I do not, I will not disclose price information. That's what it says. Number four, uh, as a transaction broker, as a licensee, I do not represent either the buyer or the seller. In other words, we'll discuss a little bit more. Transaction broker does not, doesn't have any representation. In other words, doesn't have any legal liability to anyone. Just process the transaction itself, just the paperwork and the procedures and that's it. Okay, and then is this form explains the seller's agent, seller's agent uh, what to do and buyer agent what to do and disclosure door agent what to do and transaction broker also what to do. And then there's a sign a seller or landlord. Okay, um, by the way, this form is the sellers and buyers, it says, but uh, seller also, um, can be landlord and the buyer can be tenant. Okay, so this form can be used interchangeably between seller and buyer and landlord and tenant. Okay, so in this case, the seller's agent becomes a landlord agent, the buyer's agent becomes a tenant agent, and this clue door is the same thing, transaction broker, same thing. And uh, either landlord or seller signs here. And or, or if you represent the buyer uh, or tenant, you they, they sign here. And then as a real estate agent uh, signs here, put the name and the company name. Now, often we have a misunderstanding. This form is not an agreement. And we all should know, professionals and general public should know, this form is not an agreement. This form is just a statement, just to explain each role of each different uh, agent function, representation. That's all it does. But the commission requires to explain this to public. So the public um, should be aware of there are these kind of a representation, different representation. Especially today, we want to talk about the disclosed dual agents, which is pretty dangerous for uh, real estate professionals. And a lot of uh, suit, the suing uh, cases uh, happen uh, mostly uh, from this dual uh, agentship uh, cases. Okay. All right, so CIS form, now we should know. So first time you encounter uh, with the client or customer or potential client or whatever, uh, depending on the situation. Anyway, first time you encounter anyone uh, general public, you better use this form. So the general public should know also what is your function and what is your uh, legal capacity, either buyer agent or seller agent or disclosure door agent or transaction group. Okay, so we want to kind of focus down to disclosed door agent representation because this is most often creates a problem and creates a lawsuit. And, or if it's not a lawsuit, then basically uh, filing complaint to the local board, uh, or the general public should know there is a local board and you can file the complaint. And uh, also a general public can file the complaint to the commission, REC in New Jersey, Trenton, under the um, banking and insurance department. All right, so what does, uh, uh, okay, to begin with, we need to know implied dual agent representation, okay? What is implied dual agent representation? 
By the way, this is clearly is a violation of NJ state uh, uh, real estate law. So let's find out what is then implied the dual agent. Also, public should know about this uh, so that you can be treated fairly, okay? And uh, of course, real estate professionals definitely should know about this. Imply the dual agent representation. Uh, this is the case like um, at the open house, it's typically open house. At open house, you are excited, you uh, listed pri the property and you do the general open house during the weekend. Okay, fine. And um, the, when a potential buyer without buyer agent representation walks in, so just the buyer family uh, walk, walk in, okay? Uh, there is no uh, agent accompanying uh, with this family. And then hosting agent, okay, the listing agent, start showing the house without disclosing the uh, disclosing host agents, dual agency representation. Okay, you, you see the situation? This is a very typical situation at the open house, um, the buyer family are walking without any uh, realtor, a real estate agent, okay? And then, um, as a, a hosting agent, as a listing agent, he would be happy because he's thinking that, oh, this is my you know, client and I'm gonna do dual thinking, okay? And I should be nice to them. Okay, let's just start showing. And then uh, this listing agent uh, escort this family to the bedroom, living room and start explaining the uh, house. Uh, furniture, nice layout, size, etc. This moment, okay, this agent became implied dual agent already. That's illegal. Okay, we shouldn't know about this. Okay, probably uh, this this happening everywhere, but that's illegal, and public shouldn't know that also. Same thing when the listing agent receives a phone call, okay? Listing agent, remember, listing agent receives a phone call directly from the public or potential buyer. Of course, it's a potential buyer. That's why they call in, okay? And then start explaining this, the, about the uh, house. Also, also uh, this can be implied dual agent representation. So that's illegal as well. Then, then, in other words, implied dual agent, implied agent means without disclosing the representation verbally or expressly, you do the dual agent job, okay, without expressing, without disclosing, I'm gonna be your dual agent. Okay, without that, if you start showing the house as a listing agent to the potential buyer, that is implied to the agent. New Jersey state law defines that's illegal. That's a violation of state law. Okay, then how can I disclose my dual agent representation then? Okay, well, simple. Before you start anything, you are the listing agent. Okay, then uh, either if the potential buyer or public calls in and asking about the house or, or at the open house, they walk in and uh, they asking about the house. Before you talk anything, anything, you should, what you should do, you learn the now CIS form. So you pull out CIS form and start explaining what is a buyer agent, what is a seller agent, what is a disclosed dual agent, what is a transaction broker. Now I am about to be your, your dual agent. Is that okay with you? But actually before that, what you should ask, do you have your agent? That uh, as is the number one, you must ask a potential buyer that he or she has a buyer agent representation engaged. 
So first you have to ask that. Then if they say yes, then let his or her agent call you or uh, come again uh, later, okay? If they said, the public uh, says, or client says, no, I don't have a buyer agent, then you start explaining CIS again. And then disclose, uh, clearly explain the dual, uh, disclose the dual agency ship, and I am going to be your dual agent from now on. Are you okay with that? And, and possibly and uh, necessarily, you should get the uh, dual agent, the buyer dual agent representation uh, agreement at that time. Okay? So you sign the two forms, the CIS form, and you explain dual agency, and also get the buyer dual agent form. Typically, typically uh, professionals uh, receives the seller dual agentship uh, agreement when the uh, agent receives or um, signed up the listing agreement okay, from the seller. But uh, they do not have a buyer dual agent agreement yet because they didn't see any, any um, client yet. But all fronts, okay, they will see potentially um, the buyer's family or buyer without buyer's agent. But then you should ask first, do you have a buyer agent? Okay, if they say yes, then bring your uh, agent. If they say no, then okay, I will be your dual agent. Explain clearly, disclose clearly, and get the uh, form signed. Which, which agreement? Buyer dual agent agreement form. Okay, a uh, few things I want to add. Uh, well, when you receive phone call, same thing. And when you do open house, it's the same procedure. Consider this, attorneys don't do dual re representations. You agree? They never represent a plaintiff and the defendant at the same case, right? It's very str strange situation, right? But the real estate uh, case, we will allow, the commission will allow, but with extreme cares. That's, what's that. That's why a lot of sue, uh, the suing of the real estate agents are happening. Because, because um, intrinsically and originally, it's very difficult position. One agent represents buyer and one agent represents seller at the same time for the same property. Okay? So just to clearly remember, attorney, they don't do that at all. Okay? And uh, so also most complicated, potentially liable case is this case. New Jersey still allow the owner listing their own house. Some other state, I think um, the Virginia, the, the, the state law, okay, prohibited listing the agent's own house. But New Jersey, they allow at least, but with extreme care again. So that's why in New Jersey, some uh, big uh, franchise companies, the company policy, they do not allow owner the agent list his own or her own house. Okay, but anyway, that's why it's a very dangerous. Owner and seller is a real estate licensee and listing agent of his own property. And they do open house and uh, uh, the client without a buyer agent walks in, so it becomes a dual agent. This case is very, very, very dangerous case. It opens up a lot of um, the potential uh, legal issues. Okay, you can imagine, right? Yes, you can imagine. And also exactly the same applies to the landlord and tenant situation. 
Okay, uh, <clears throat> so make sure your uh, paperwork done. And if, we, if you, I mean, it's possible you try to avoid first, list your own house as a professional, okay? Avoid that. And uh, try to avoid a possible door agent's re uh, representation unless you clearly disclose, unless you clearly uh, prepared all the documentation. Um, uh, general public uh, real estate uh, professional uh, 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 by the way, where you got disclosed dual agent Rago, Chinung Tacheta, Sunday Hamian, UGG is an implied dual agent, the disclosure and then dual agent to Shibun, Pulpovic Temenegre, violation of NG Loda. Grammar implied the dual agent to Shibun, Shikas so, and Nor Hamian, Yellows Open House Halte, with an agent to a Kojibu listing Hetzana, of the Open House Halte, general public or other. 그러니까 너무 좋아가지고 야 이거 투어 레전트니까 아, 커미션이 메이비 두 배가 되겠다 라는 생각에 익사이팅 해가지고 집을 막 설명하기 시작을 했어요. 요 시작을 했다고 하는 때에 벌써 법적으로는 임플라이드 듀얼 에이전트가 된 거예요, 여러분. 그게 불법이라는 거예요. 오케이. 자 그럼 어떻게 되느냐? 어 워킹 하면 설명을 해, 물어봐요. 첫째 퀘스천. 어, 바이오 에이전트 있습니까? 없습니까? 있으면 어, 그분하고 오시길 바랍니다. 네? 어, 아니면 설명을 하세요. 그분을 뭐 이제 안 쓰시겠다고 하면 그러면 이 집에 대해서는 제가 설명을 해드릴 수 있는 방법은 어, 듀얼 에이전트 폼에 사인하시고 내가 손님을 위해서 듀얼 에이전트가 되어야만 됩니다. Disclosed 합니다. 이렇게 해서 시작을 해야 된다. Okay. Uh, 그런 프로세저가 필요하니까 꼭 CIS 폼 사인하시고 설명드리고 그 퍼블릭도 그걸 이해를 하셔야 돼요. 퍼블릭도 그거를 이해를 어, 당할 어, 권리가 있다. <웃음> 이해를 당한다는 게 uh, to be understood. Okay. 그게 state law에서 require 하는 거기 때문에 그래요. 왜? 그래서 어, 우리가 어, sound public relationship 그 퍼블릭하고 우리가 아주 건강한 관계를 가져야 되겠다. 그러니까 모르면은 막 이상한 일들이 막 일어나는 거죠. 그죠? 그러니까 우리가 알고 이러한 일을 방지해야 되겠다. 쉽게 생각하시면은 변호사님들은 절대로 원고나 피고를 같이 맞지 않죠. 그렇죠? 그런 케이스 혹시 보셨나요? 그런 케이스 없습니다. 그런데 부동산은 허가는 해요. 허가는 하지만 with 아주 조심해서 해라. 그리고 버지니아 중간 제가 확인할 텐데 음, 더 위험한 케이스는 이런 게 있어요. 리스팅 어, 에이전트가 오케이, 자, 본인 집을 리스팅을 해요. 네, 그게 우선 대인지로 사고요. 그 다음에 어, 또 오픈하우스를 해서 어, 바이어 손님을 만나요. 그러니까 듀얼 에이전트가 되는 거예요. 자, 여기 생각해 보면요. 어, 지금 오너로서, 그 다음에 라이센스로서, 그 다음에 리스팅 에이전트로서, 바이어 에이전트로서 이한 사람을 대하게 되잖아요. 바이어. 굉장히 굉장히 위험한 요소가 많다. 실질적으로 어, 수가 걸리는 게이 듀얼 에이전트 때문으로 이 발생되는 게 제일 많다. 어, 그리고 랜로드 테넌트도 그 상황도 똑같아요. 랜로드 셀러, 그다음에 테넌트 바이어만 바뀌는 거지. 지금 제가 설명드린 거는 똑같다. Okay, that's today's uh, mini seminar. Uh, I think it's very important to um, both parties, general public or um, 
the real estate profession. Uh, 지금 질문이 들어왔는데요. 케일럽 음, 정. 바이어 에이전트가 있는데 사정상 못올 경우에 에이전트와 통화하고 바이어한테 보여줄 수 있는 건지요. Okay. It's a very good, um, very good uh, question. Um, 바이어 에이전트가 있다고 얘기를 했어요. 그 손님이. 근데 사정상 못 왔다. 오케이 okay. 그런 경우는 클리어하게 멘션 하셔야 돼요. 어, 지금 설명을 하는 거는 어, 지금 손님을 내가 레프레젠트 하는 게 아닙니다. 단지 단지 그냥 전포, 저 인포메이션을 위해서 제가 도와드리는 겁니다. 그리고 모든 것은 바이어 에이전트하고 상의하셔야 됩니다. 그러니까 어, 리프레젠테이션이 아니라는 것을 분명히 디스클로즈 해야 되겠죠. 오케이 okay? 그러니까 손님과 나는 지금 리걸한 레프레젠테이션 관계가 없습니다. 네, 단지 어, 집을 어, 인포메이션을 드리는 것 뿐입니다. 그러니까 저한테는 어, 뭐 가격이라든지 어, 이 집을 뭐, 어, 이 집의 장단점이라든지 이런 거에 대해서 디테일하게 물어보시지 않도록 하시고 어, 보시고 어, 인포메이션만 전해드리는 겁니다. 이렇게 설명을 하고 보여줄 수 있겠죠. 오케이 okay. 그리고 가능하면 이 바이어 이 바이어한테 하고는 직접 얘기를 많이 안 섞는 게 가장 세이프한 것이다. 그리고 내가 듀얼 에이전트가 아닙니다라고 디스크로즈를 했기 때문에 또 바이어가 에이전트가 있다고 했기 때문에 그렇게 데인저로 산 이슈는 없을 것이다 이런 얘기죠. 오케이 okay. 음, 그렇게 해주시면은 되겠고요. 자 그래서 우리가 또 어려운 시기에 만약에 문제가 생겨서 어, 지금 이 문제가 생기려면요 상당히 많은 문제들이 포텐셜이 생길 수가 있어요. 그래서 이 어려운 시기에 가뜩이나 지금 이자율이 올라가서 어, 어, 집을 거래하기도 쉽지 않은데 이런 문제로 인해서 어, 만약에 이제 그 파일이 뭐 컴플레인 파일 된다든지. 소송이 걸린다든지 그러면 스트레스라든지 시간 낭비 이런 게 엄청나게 되니까 어, 서로 어, 조심을 하고 퍼블릭도 이렇게 클리어하게 좀 언더스탠딩을 했으면 좋겠어요. 3번 퍼블릭에 이런 걸좀 설명을 해서 많이 했으면 좋을 것 같아요. 그러면 서로가 조심할 수가 있잖아요. 서로가 알면 퍼블릭도 잘 알면 이거 관계는 어려운 거 아니잖아요. 그래서 이게 무슨 스페셜한 난리이 필요한 것도 아니에요. 아무튼 아, 그래서 이번에 이런 답을 정해봤습니다. Okay, thank you for your participation. See you all next week.